And here it is, our main event for the evening. As we're live back to the Pure Wrestling Arena, Baron Corbin makes his way to the ring. Now there's two factors in this match that could come into play. The two big guys, Baron Corbin and Ryback. And then you have your two, I would say, underdogs, which is Finn Balor and Sami Zayn. Now Baron Corbin, he's not won a title at all. So it'd be pretty interesting to see if he can manage to win this champion tonight. Corbin, of course, the lone wolf. I think he'll be pretty much dominating this matchup. This guy has a big size advantage over anyone in this match. I don't know, you can say that Baron Corbin kind of fits the role of the, I would say, fan favorite for some people. Some people actually like Baron Corbin, but uh, a lot of people like this man as well. His name is Finn Balor, and he's here to claim the gold. You will think if Finn Balor wins a champion, he will go into extreme rules as the demon and try to fight as many people or as as much of an obstacle that he has in extreme rules. He will use the demon to his advantage. Always enjoy Finn Balor making that grand entrance to the ring. He never gets old. Finn Balor has won the NXT champion, but that's that's all he's he's won. And he's I think he, if I'm if I'm not correct, he might be the longest reigning NXT champion. I'm not sure if he passed Neville yet, but if that's the case, that, that's incredible, Prince. A long time NXT champion, that, that's... I don't know. <laughs> that's just amazing. From Balor, of course, coming from New Japan Pro Wrestling. He was formerly known as Prince Devitt. Now, he's Finn Balor. And he's looking to make a name for himself. In this pure wrestling roster for this universe. The lights come on. And you can see clearly the pure wrestling arena. I think it's a good design. Another fan favorite I guess you can say in this match, Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn, a huge part of NXT. First came to FCW, he was El Generico, then became Sami Zayn. Very interesting, interesting character that he had over the years. And very big rivalries he had with Kevin Owens and um, other people. But Sami Zayn looking to become the first ever pure wrestling champion. He's won NXT champion, but... That reign was short-lived by Kevin Owens, but we're lucky that Kevin Owens isn't in the same brand as he in. Kevin Owens, of course, in the CJM brand, Sami Zayn in the Pure Wrestling brand. Both of these brands cannot merge at all. And we look as the final person comes out to the arena. Ladies and gentlemen, it is Ryback. Mm. 
right back looking for a title reign that he deserves, a title reign that he never gotten. Back in 2012, Ryback was going to win the champion, but it seemed like it did not happen. And Ryback is very upset and wants to win this champion to make a name for himself, starting with the Pure Wrestling Champion, starting with the Pure Wrestling Universe. What better way to start off than to be in this matchup to win the championship? And there it is, the Pure Wrestling Championship. It's very different from CJM or any other titles you've seen. It is the only colored strap title. It's colored blue. Well, of course, the, the Divas is colored white, but this one's colored blue. It's very unique. And Ryback off the gate with a big splash. To Sami Zayn, as Baron Corbin works Finn Balor's neck over there. And of course, Fatal 4-Way rules, no count out, no DQ. As already, these men spilling it outside of the ring. Oh, looking for a submission maneuver there, but no. And again, he gets sma he smashed into the barricade. Oh no. Oh, head first into the barricade. Looking for Irish whip there. And the sling blade in the ring. You might think when Finn Balor hits the coup de gras, it is over. It is all over. But you never know. Oh, and Sami Zayn gets power bomb onto the floor by Ryback outside the ring. These men already going at as a rolling thunder bomb by Sami Zayn. Clubbing clothesline by Baron Corbin to the back of Finn Balor. This is Sami Zayn throws Ryback back in the ring. Gets in the ring. Ryback now attacking Finn Balor. And big boom. Dominant performance by Ryback right now. And Arrow One always goes for that move here. I don't know why, but that T-bone suplex or Florida suplex, whatever it's called, or a pen attempt. No. Well, the, the strength of Finn Balor to pick up Ryback straight down into the face. Taking down reversal. Now it looks like Sami Zayn has got the upper hand and German suplex to Baron Corbin. The double pin? Can you imagine in the pure wrestling or in the CGM brand, would you ever see a double pin for a victory? That would be history in the making right there, ladies and gentlemen. As Ryback gets power bomb. Big chop to Sami Zayn there. And a reversal by Sami Zayn. And again, Ryback picked up and thrown down. Old man on top. Baron Corbin reverses. Baron Corbin diving clothesline. Finn Balor misses. Ryback counters. Finn Balor misses. But Finn Balor looks like he still has the upper hand here. He still manages to get a move in. Taking the big man down. The big guy. Now, pure wrestling thinks they can do better than CJM, but CJM, I think, had an exploding start 
with the Tag Team Championship match and then after that following their Fatal 4-Way match and a big missile drop kick from Sami Zayn and Baron Corbin. Can this match top it all? Can <coughs> Pure Wrestling get a bigger viewership than CJM? Corbin now attacking Ryback. Ryback. Oh, now the big men are going at it now. Oh, stop to the face. Finn Balor and Sami Zayn outside of the ring. Finn Balor comes in to break up the pin. No, he still takes out. Oh. He said these two men are chasing each other. But <laughs> one of them's getting in the ring. One of them's getting out of the ring. Now they just decided to stay in the ring. All right. Smart move by Sami Zayn. Because if not, they're going to play that game all day. You don't want to do that, wasting time in this Fatal 4 match to win the championship. Sami Zayn, what is he going for? And a Tornado DDT, good Tornado DDT by Sami Zayn. As a bat comes into play, right back. Hits Baron Corbin with the bat. And hits Sami Zayn. Takes him down, hit him again. And then takes down Finn Balor. Right back on a roll. And he taunts in the middle of the ring, telling everyone to bring everything they have. Now everyone just hitting Sami Zayn down. Nope, oh, trying to pick the big man up, but you can't do that. Counter. Why am I going for a pin attempt? One? No, just a one count. face of Finn Balor as Baron Corbin throws Sami Zayn out of the ring. Oh, double axe handle to Finn Balor. Are oh, they going up top? Oh no. You know going up top is a predicament here in this universe mode. It can cost you all. It can cost you the match as Finn Balor gets driven down to the mat. Right back going for a pin attempt. And Baron Corbin breaks it up. As he gets caught again, Baron Corbin thrown. Right back with on the leg or the knee or something like that. Something of that nature. Pin attempt by Sami Zayn. Baron Corbin kicks out. Tell the team on Baron Corbin. And Finn Balor with the dual to hit his signature on Ryback. This can be it. If he can hit the coup de gras, it is over. What well, Baron Corbin? Baron Corbin with a signature of his own. Baron Corbin with his own signature. Oh, pin attempt by Baron Corbin. One, two, what? Baron Corbin. Picks off the victory against Sami Zayn by using his signature. Just by a signature. Well, you have to give the credit to Sami Zayn. He was badly damaged in this matchup. Well, your first ever pure wrestling champion is Baron Corbin. That's going to be interesting. The Lone Wolf is your champion. And if you like this episode, please leave a like. As usual, if you give me 10 likes, I'll upload a next episode. Episode 3. And we'll see what happens with our champions next week. Thank you guys. Peace.